Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to Will You Press The Button. Now, I was gonna mix things up, and there's a setting in the settings menu that allows you to see the unapproved questions. And there's like 7,000 approved questions to 350,000 unapproved questions. So I was in my mind, I was like, how bad could it be? They're, they're probably cool, at least some interesting- they're bad. Oh god, they're bad. I'll show you. They're bad. They're horrible. Not only grammatically, but situationally. Like this. You can watch any anime you want anytime in HD right when it comes out. It will all be dubbed like old Japanese- Well, this isn't- okay. This one's totally fine. This, this one's 100% fine. This is a bad example. I must have just come across a few- Uh, well, okay. Maybe it's okay. I th I got into there was some heavily racist stuff and I got like a string of it so I guess I can try this we'll see how it goes and then I'll just cut out the bad ones okay all right cool you become the greatest sportsman alive but no one will ever cheer for you in your events so you can score the greatest goals in soccer and the whole stadium will just be dead silent or will they boo you because there's a big difference but I guess rolling around and all the money you'd get from being the greatest sportsman would be Good enough for not having people cheer for you. Okay, I'll press it. Why not? You can become invisible at any time, but you have to be naked to do so. Now, see, this doesn't seem so bad, because I'm naked like 90% of my day anyway, so what does it matter if I just get naked in my house, go out, <laughs> unless there's like some condition where you have to hold your breath, but maybe that's not it. Or maybe I just walk around with a trench coat at all times and just flash people in the nude and then run around town. This got weird. Never mind. I'll press it. Screw it. I like- I like being naked. You get everything you want for free, but you lose a family member for everything you get. Now this is bad. What if I want a Chipotle burrito and my brother has to die? That seems like a bad trade-off. You gotta like go for something big. Like, I want the moon! But then what does that mean that you own the moon? I guess you- you get- can- can you encapsulate the entirety of the earth? Ownership of it completely? Or do you have to get things individually, like on a small level? Cause that doesn't seem very good. I will not! Maybe. I don't know. So no cheese, no Sadame! But Josho. <laughs> I don't know why that one's really funny to me. I don't know what it means, but just the idea of whatever the hell the first one is, but Jojo! I I'll press it, whatever the hell that means. Tell me what I did. <laughs> You can heal and take away pain from anybody else, not from you, but you have to feel all the pain when you take it away. Well, okay! That seems like an interesting power, considering that you can heal them, but does that mean that you have bear the pain permanently? Or just bear the pain temporarily, because that's a big thing. If you just run around healing people, but the more people you heal, the more incredible this pain becomes. That's like a horrifying dilemma. You can heal people, like incredible wounds can be healed instantly, but you have to bear that pain for the rest of your life, and you reach a critical moment where you've taken away so much pain that suddenly you can't take it anymore. And you just die from the pain. I have no idea, that would be... That would be such a weird sacrifice. I'll do it! You have the ability to fly, but you can no longer walk or swim. Well, that seems okay. I always just go everywhere, hovering a little bit off the ground. Down at the grocery store, pushing my cart of goodies, hovering a few inches off the ground. I don't see a trade-off! Depends on how fast I can fly. God, if I can only fly at a walking speed, that would be terrible. But I think I'd be okay. I'll, I'll take that. That sounds pretty good. You are invincible, but you must sacrifice one person every day. Holy crap! That's a lot of commitment to have. Do they have to submit themselves to me? Or do I have a cult that's bringing them in? Am I the leader of some dark group? Oh man. Is it the sacrifice that actually makes me invincible? I don't know. When I don't sacrifice someone one day and then get the next, am I okay? I don't know! Yeah, sure, why not? I blew up all of Detroit. I always have to remember that I put that in perspective. I blew up Detroit for a piece of cake. I think I'm okay. You have a VIP pass to every concert, movie, and event. Free entrance, no line. 
But after it, after you use it each time, you can't have sex for a month. Well, how is that any different from my normal life? I'll press it! <laughs> you can breathe underwater, but you can never get dry again. Wow, that has so many ulterior meanings. Write in the comments the different ways that could be interpreted. Bonus points for the dirtier it is! Now I just know everyone's gonna be confused if they look at the comments before the video is actually, like they've gone through the video, they're gonna be very confused why everyone's writing such dirty things. Yeah, I'll press it! Fine, okay. Just, I'll, I'll, I'll just be moist man, walking through the world just slightly moist. You can go into any fictional world you want, movie, show, book, etc., but your favorite character hates you and there's no way of changing it. Well, you know what? Fuck that guy! Fuck you, Harry Potter! I'm gonna hang out with Ron Weasley! Oh god, but what- oh, that- that changes things. What if, when you go in there, your favorite character hates you, so then you start to like another character, and then you'll know when they become your favorite character because suddenly they'll hate you! And you have to shift back and forth! I guess you'd meet so many people- Eh, I'll press it! Screw it! Why not? You're very wealthy, but you can only use the money on others and never yourself unless it's steak and water. That is an odd exclusion there. Why just steak? And why just water? Water's kinda free! In most parts of the world! I mean, I guess I wouldn't be too upset about that. I can make sure that other people were well off. Sure, yeah, why not? You know what? I like steak. You can make any person fall in love with you, but that person will die in five years. Okay, now here's the thing. What if you make all of the horrible, horrible people of the world fall in love with you and then they'll die? Because you don't have to be in love with them, but if you make... <laughs> Like, all of the- the worst people of the world, like all the horrible dictators and all the terrorists and all that stuff, you know, they fall in love with you! And then, you know, they'll be happy and in love and then five years later they just die. Maybe? That'd be a weird superpower. I'll take it. You become the most famous, rich, and powerful person on the planet, but you must marry the person you hate most on this planet, regardless of gender. Well... I don't really hate anyone, and just because I'm married doesn't mean that I have to do a whole lot. I mean, if the standards of marriage these days is anything to go by, I guess... Sure, okay, you know, I'm okay, I'll, I'll do that, yeah. You become a master 3D modeler, but they can never be made in the real world by 3D printer or otherwise, and must not violate copyright. Well, that seems totally fine, because for most 3D modelers, they're working in games and movies and such, and they don't need to be in the real world. So I think that's actually okay. I just learned a really good skill. You can read the opposite sex mind, <laughs> but people of the same sex can hear your thoughts. Now that is a fascinating dilemma. So it's kind of like a what women want situation where he can hear all women's thoughts, but all the guys can hear my thoughts loud and clear. And I think that'd be okay, because I don't speak for all guys, but I'm pretty sure we're all thinking pretty much the same thing. I mean, not to say everyone's the same, but my thoughts are incredibly generic. And if everyone can hear them, they'd probably just be bored to death. So I don't think that's too bad. I got nothing to hide to my bros. It'll be okay. Oh God, you have a beautiful girlfriend boyfriend, but Every time you sleep together, they shart on your face. Why? Is it intentional? Can I talk to them about it? Is it like a sleepwalking thing except they're sleep sharting and it just happens to be on my face? I mean, you'd think we would discuss this a little bit, but apparently not. So, I don't know. I I no. You no. Know, you know what? No, I'm gonna go with no. You can instantly play any string instrument without having to even study it, but you orgasm with every strum of a note? That's incredible! That would be an amazing power! You just start out with a solo jam and get the best time of your life. Oh god, never mind. I'll press it. I'll bear this burden, everybody. I'll take this one for the team. You can eat anything you want without putting on weight, but you have to take suppositories the size of peanuts every morning. Are we talking the size of just 
you know, a normal peanut. I mean, I'm already trying to justify this because it doesn't seem like too much of a trade-off. Unless I was trying to be a bodybuilder, and I'm not saying I'm trying to be a bodybuilder, but if I wanted to put on muscle weight, then this seems kind of like a problem. But it says I have to take suppositories to make it not happen, so I imagine that if I didn't take the suppositories, I could gain weight if I wanted to. This seems like a pretty good deal, and maybe in the future of medical science, this is actually how it's gonna be done. No, present, why not? You become famous and everybody likes you, but you must kill five of your fans of your choice every day. Everyone still likes you and the killing of those five fans does not affect you at all except maybe mentally. Wow, I don't think the price of fame is worth killing five of my fans, unless they're all like very happily, it's like a horrifying cult where, let's just take for example, you guys, if you guys lined up outside my door in sacrificial robes, like, please, Markiplier, sacrifice me. No, oh God, no. I'm not even theorizing this anymore. That's horrible, that's horrible. Horrible. You will never have to sleep again, but you have to run 10 miles every morning. Now that doesn't seem like too much of a trade-off. You gain eight hours a day, and all you have to do is run 10 miles. You would get in great shape. You would get in incredible shape, and you'd have so much more time. You'd never have to sleep? That's awesome. Unless it's not awesome. No, it's awesome. I'll press that. Screw that. I'll press it. Oh, this one is strangely pertinent. Your friend will be PewDiePie, but you will learn from PewDiePie a lot of being a YouTuber. Wow, it's almost like that actually happened in my life. Huh, this is a bizarre conundrum. Oh, I guess I'll pr what, who, 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 no. You gain either fire bending, water bending, earth bending, or air bending, but everyone hates you. I, I'm not an expert on Avatar or The Legend of Korra, so this one doesn't quite fall within my category of nerdism, which is a large category, admittedly, but I'll leave this one up to you. For those fans of the shows out there, would you be willing to be able to do one of these random things, I suppose it's random, but have everyone suddenly hate you? Probably because you're so cool and able to do these magical things. So I'll leave that one up to you. Let me know in the comments below. It'll be right alongside all of the very dirty comments, but it'll be cool nonetheless. Can't wait to see your answers. Thank you everybody so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye! Oh, it's so cool! I'm having so much fun. Uh, I'm just too pro for this guy. What should I name him?